Welcome back to the Rena's Kitchen. All right, so today we're making some carrot juice. You can have it with milk or you can actually sweeten yours with the lime and sugar, however you like it. All right, stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. Right here, I have a Guinness. I am also using vanilla extract. I have my rose water and almond, which gives this a nice flavor. If you don't have rose water and almond, it's okay. I'm using Supplegen. If you don't have a Supplegen, you can use evaporated milk or nutriment. I'll be using nutmeg, cinnamon, condensed milk to sweeten this. And I'm basically just scraping the out, um, the exterior part of the carrot off it's best to do it this way you don't have to peel it um, you can also wash your fruits and veggies in vinegar and baking soda which also you know get rid of a lot of the um, bacteria and grime on the outside and I'll, I'll be juicing um, my juice my carrots if you don't have a juicer you can always blend it that's another option um, you can also boil it i've seen people boil the carrots and blend it so you don't you know throw away anything but it's up to you so many different ways to make carrot juice and what i love about this um omega juicer it's actually a low speed juicer um it's um mmv 700 s series mega mouth you don't have to cut the fruits and veggies up too small just cut the ends off and you know cut it however you'd like to cut it and then just drop it right in so that's all you basically doing all right like i said i don't have to cut it too small because this juicer crushes and bend up anything so make sure you don't put your hands in there all right so you know in jamaica carrot juice is one of those things we always had carrot juice on Sunday. But, you know, if you like it with condensed milk, you can add condensed milk. Or if you just want it, you know, like when the days are hot and you just want something refreshing, I don't add condensed milk to mine. You can sweeten it with a little sugar or honey. It's so flavorful. Sometimes you don't even need to add sugar when you're using the juicer. But, you know, if you want to stretch it, add some water, um, add a little sugar, honey, or whatever, um, you, your, your choice of sweetener lemon and lime and you're good to go but this like i said i am adding the um everything you see right there in the the picture and um yeah we're gonna just move along right from here pair it up with whatever delicious sunday dinner you want to put it with all right so that's up to you you can actually scroll down on my channel and see what you feel like eating for sunday dinner all right and use your discretion when you're cutting up these carrots i'm a professional <laughs> so make sure if you can't cut it in your hand put it on a cutting board i don't want nobody messaging me tell me they lost a finger or hand trying to cut the carrot up in their hand okay all right so i got everything washed cut up just dropping in my juicer um see how big they're going in and like i said the juicer it does it all um for you just make sure you don't push your hands on there because it'll grab that too all right so there it is it's just slowly processing everything and just extracting all the goodness and you don't have to throw away the the pulp you can actually put it in your favorite bacon dish like if you're making a a carrot cake or um just put it as compost in your backyard is what i do sometime so it's up to you all right so nothing goes to waste when off a troll with our dash red nothing all right I'm just gonna show you a few more so you can see how the juicer just extract all the goodness and like I said if you want some of the roughage you can even eat it um you know we used to eat um the coconut trash with sugar growing up the same thing you can eat the um <laughs> you can eat the carrot um for the fiber if you don't want to throw away the pulp okay all right and there it is releasing all of the goodness look at that how beautiful that is oh my god it tastes so good this is so delicious and like i said it's so refreshing um you can actually drink it as is i'm outside juicing so i'm just using my hose to wash off my um, cutting board all right so just getting a bigger picture because this um gave me actually um about four cups of concentrated carrot juice is what the two pounds of carrot gave me. All right, so I'm gonna add the Guinness. And you know with Guinness, when you're pouring Guinness, if you tilt, tilt it, it doesn't fraud up and overflow. So that's, you know, we learned that growing up because I used to always see my parents pouring Guinness and adding um, 
you know, to the, the carrot juice, but it's optional. If you don't want to put any alcohol in it, it's, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to add the supplegen. And like I said, if you don't have access to supplegen, you can use Nutriment. That's a nice replacement. And you can also use, um, if you don't have Nutriment or supplegen, just use evaporated milk. All right, there's a the vanilla extract. And um, you can pick up all of these, like the vanilla extract. I think I even have some supplegen listed on my... Um, Amazon storefront that description is also um, The link actually it's in my description box. So you can grab a few of those as well All right, and I'm dropping probably about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon not too much you don't want the cinnamon to Overpower, um, you know, it's a cinnamon powerful already. <laughs> All right, so not too much cinnamon. And I'm gonna put some nutmeg. I always have fresh nutmeg on hand. Let me grab one of these out the jar. Um, if you don't have a whole nutmeg, you can actually buy the um, the powdered nutmeg. It's it's up to you, whatever whatever you use. And you can add, subtract, modify. You know, this is just a guide. This is how I make mine. It's it's up to you, but it's very delicious and while you're at it don't forget to hit that subscribe the notification bell so you know you get the little alert every time i upload a new video all right and uh, make sure you are following me on all the platforms i'm on instagram at the rainer's kitchen i'm on tiktok um you, i'm also on facebook twitter pinterest all right i have some great things coming and make sure you follow me on amazon as well all right, and share with um, share these videos with your friends and family. So, you know, get some great cooking ideas and, you know, bring in something different every time we upload. All right, so thank you for um, watching as always. There it is. Everything is nice and fresh and delicious and enjoy your day. See you on the next video. Bye.